Hello everybody, how are we all doing? So I'm joining you from, I feel like I've never started my vlog sat on this sofa and it's actually quite rare that I do sit on this sofa because it's white and I'm kind of terrified uh, and we have a green sofa just there so I do often opt for that one. Wow, that was such a boring introduction. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But hi, how are we doing? It is Thursday the 2nd of December today. So it's the second day of December. Wow, do you know what? I feel like I should just start this again. Oh, why am I telling you that twice? Anyway, oh goodness, it's been a long day. I got up at half six this morning to go to Pilates, which I never do. Like if you know me, then you'll know that I love myself a lot and I'm not really an early riser. Uh, but I actually got up at half six this morning and went to Pilates and kind of liked it, kind of hated it. <laughs> I mean, it was so early, but I did enjoy it and I was so glad I did it because it just got me up early and got me going. So I was just able to have a much more like productive morning, which was good. So I do think I'm going to try and do that like maybe a few mornings a week um, and then have my lions like the other mornings. I say lion, like it's like I get up at like half eight or something, but like a 6.30 rise is quite early for me. But I did come across this TikTok of this woman that gets up at 4.30 and she just got so much done in her day and I just thought, wow, like I could really do with doing that. <laughs> anyway, I have been working all morning. I've been filming, uh, so I'm just editing at the minute. And after I finish editing, I'm gonna pop out to the shops because I wanna get some more Christmassy bits. And I know you guys are gonna be like, you need to chill out. But like I was saying in my last vlog, I'm not sure when you would have seen that, but in my last vlog is, I just feel like only one room looks Christmassy and I want to make the other rooms look Christmassy so I'd like another garland like for the kind of media unit and yeah we're just gonna see what's out there you know. I also need to go to Boots so I need to buy some bits from there, we need like toothpaste, uh, I need a new razor, stuff like that, um, yeah so I just thought I would come on and say hello and once I've finished editing this vlog I'm gonna head to the shops and I will take you guys with me and I also want to get some wrapping paper and stuff because I'm thinking about wrapping some presents because I feel like underneath the tree looks quite bare and I was thinking I could wrap some presents up and pop them under there. I don't know, we'll see. Also currently the house looks a bit of a mess because as I said we've like moved stuff from where the Christmas tree is and now it's just sat in the middle of the kitchen and we've currently got like some reindeer in the kitchen that I haven't done anything with so I really need to oh really need to crack on and do that hang on oh all right Raffi sorry about that uh Raffi no you're not allowed on this sofa uh I also need to put the garland up around the stairs which I've not done yet that's just sat in a heap in the hallway so <laughs> I really need to get on and do these things yes hello oh hello thanks for the book on a nose hi Raffs you guys are definitely going to be seeing a lot of this little face during Vlogmas. Hi. I love how I'm calling it Vlogmas and I'm not actually vlogging every day, but you know, I'm vlogging more than I normally would. So yeah. Hi, gorgeous boy. Hi, gorgeous boy. Hi, hi, hi. Right. I'm going to get on and edit. <laughs> I'm going to get on and edit the rest of my video now. And then we will head out to the shops and I'll take you with me. Oh, thank you for the kiss. Thank you for the kiss. Oh, I am so lucky. Aren't I so lucky? So that was an absolute fail because I've just got home and I didn't take any Raph, Raffi, I didn't take any footage because uh, basically I got my camera out to film. I got my camera out to film and I had forgotten my memory card. So there's no memory card in the camera, which was so annoying. So I couldn't film any of it. And I was going to film it on my phone, but I just don't think the quality is as good. So yeah, basically that was a fail. <laughs> but I can show you what I got anyway. First up, we have. Boots. So I got some tights. These are shapewear tights. I didn't want like shapewear tights, but they were the only ones that had the 15 denier in the matte finish. So a few people have been asking what uh, denier my tights have been that I've been posting on Instagram and stuff recently. They're like quite sheer. All right, you can come and sit here, darling. So yeah, loads of people have been asking what denier my tights have been, and they are the 15 denier ones, but my last one's got a ladder in them. So I decided to pick up some new ones, and Boots had them. Wait, is that? Oh, I thought they were dark brown then, but they're black, it's all good. And then I got some exfoliating gloves because I need to scrub my tan off. And I didn't have any, so these are just the soap and glory ones. And then, got some mouthwash. 
Is this interesting? Probably not. I quite like seeing these of other people's to be fair. Uh, and then I got some makeup bits. So I picked up this Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I don't know if it's got like a proper name. Cause I'm not actually just like, her, like normally they have like, you know, like precisely my brow and things like that. But it's just a mini one. Cause I thought I'd just give it a go and it's clear. Ooh, <gasps> that looks good, you know. That, um, hang on. Is it gonna focus? Do you know what? This camera has been so bad for focusing. Is that gonna focus? I really want this to focus because I really wanna show you it. Okay, there we go. Can you see that brush? It looks really, really precise. And it, I feel like you can really, you can really kind of get in there with it. Do you know what I mean? Mmm, oh yeah. I think I'm gonna like that. Hmm. Catch off with that. I can't remember how much that one was because it was one of those ones that was at the till and I just grabbed it. And then I also picked up this. This is the Benefit Hula Caramel. I really like this as a bronzer and I really like it as an eyeshadow as well. So I got that. And then I got some lip glosses, which is fun. I wasn't expecting to go and get like makeup y bits. I thought I was just getting, you know, like the boring stuff, but Boot Sells Fenty Beauty. And I love the Fenty Beauty uh, gloss bomb. I love the shade, is it Fenty Glow? I can't remember what it's called, I think it's that. Anyway, so I thought I would try out some of the other shades. So this is literally just like a kind of clear gloss. But I think that's nice when you already have like a color on that you like and you just wanna add a little bit of gloss to it, so. I haven't really got any lipstick on right now. You know, just a clear gloss. Can't really go wrong. But I really love the texture of it. It's not sticky uh, and it just applies really well. And then this one is Sweet Mouth, which is lighter than the one I have before. So I just thought I'd give this a go as well. It does look quite light actually, but I think, I don't know if you can see the focus, come on. Yeah, I don't know if that's focusing, but I just thought I'd give that a go, basically. So then I popped to Home Sense and I picked up this Garland because I Garland Garland because I wanted to make our TV like media unit a little bit more festive. And yeah, so I just saw this and I thought, oopsie. So I thought this would be perfect. I don't like these. These are like lamb's ears, I think they call them. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, you don't like it? He doesn't like it. So yeah, I didn't really like these very much, but I figured I could probably literally just pull them off, <laughs> like so. So there we go. So I actually picked up two of them and they're only 20 pounds. So I thought it was quite a good price really for quite a long garland. Obviously that's the back of it. Hang on, let me turn it around. There you go, it looks like that at the front. So I got that and then this is actually really quite boring, but in John Lewis, I got a photo frame. This is just like an A4 size frame because basically I bought my friend a print for her wedding present and I wanted to frame it before I sent it to her. So this is the frame. So I'm going to pop the print in there and then I'm gonna to have to post it to her, which is probably gonna cost me quite a lot because it's quite a heavy frame. And I'm gonna to have to wrap it up really carefully. And then this is so boring. I don't even know why I'm showing you this, but I got some Batman pajamas for Sam's nephew. <laughs> so I mean it wasn't the most exciting festive Christmas shop there just really wasn't that much stuff out there I do really feel like things are just better online and I hate to say it because I do love to shop around like in the stores but I do just feel like they are better online aren't they you just get more choice don't you you just get more choice you just get more choice hey it was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time Okay, so this is what I've got so far, which I actually think looks quite nice. 
And then what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to get loads of like foliage and kind of weave it all in, all of the gaps and stuff, so that it looks it looks better basically. But I think for now that'll do. I was wondering about maybe getting some fairy lights. Also, by the way, I'm not going to light these so close to the TV. That's just for show. So don't worry about that. I'm also wondering if I could hang some baubles up here. I'm gonna give it a go. What do we think, guys? I actually think the bigger ones look better than the smaller ones. So I might just do like two more of the bigger ones and see how that looks. Okay, what do we think? I feel like when you see it on the grand scheme of things, it looks quite nice. Just not like when you focus on it, you know? I don't know. Let me see. What do you think? I know what you mean. I've just popped my neon diffuser on and I've popped some of this in it. This is Christmas Wish, which smells unreal. So I normally have the scent to make you happy, but switched out for a little Christmassy one. And I love this diffuser because it's a lot bigger than the standard size and it comes with a remote as well, which is really handy. Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing? So it is a makeup free day today because I have just got loads of errands to run. I'm getting my laser hair removal done in a couple of hours and then I'm also going for a reflexology appointment, which I'm so excited about. Uh, sorry, I didn't finish the vlog last night. Sam and I just had dinner and then we sat down and watched the audience with Adele, which was so good. I can't believe I've not seen it yet, but it was really, really good. Really recommend it. I'm going for a reflexology later, which I'm so excited about because I've never had it before. So I'm really interested to know what it's gonna be like and everything like that. But I'm just doing some admin bits now. I need to run to the post office and and stuff like that I need to sort out all the cardboard in the house because I've got a lot of it and yeah so I will try and vlog what I can today probably won't vlog loads but because it is just like a boring admin day but anything kind of remotely fun I will vlog I also remembered I really wanted to show you the present that I bought my friend for their wedding uh, I mentioned it yesterday because I got the frame for it in John Lewis but I basically got her this print from Lily Burney her name is and it's like one of those like glitter prints so I don't know if you can see, but the dress is all glittery. And yeah, I mean, their wedding was just stunning. Like, can we just take a second flat pick? These pictures aren't exactly A4. Like there's a little bit of a white border, but I think it's okay. I don't think it's overly noticeable. So we're good. I'm gonna wrap it up now. I need some bubble wrap. Hey guys, how are we? So I'm really sorry, but I have been a little bit of a rubbish vlogger over. Is that zoomed in? I feel like it is. Wait. Yeah, there we go, that's better. <laughs> I have been a little bit of a rubbish vlogger over the last couple of days because basically I left my camera in Sam's car and then he was away, so I literally couldn't vlog, which was really, really annoying of me. I should definitely probably buy like a backup camera for situations like that. But anyway, I'm back. It is Tuesday now. Uh, I think I last saw you, was it Sunday maybe? Or was it Saturday? Can't remember. Anyway, I'm back. Um, and yeah, it's Tuesday evening. We are heading out for dinner tonight with some friends. And I'm also gonna do some wrapping because basically we're seeing Sam's sister at the weekend and we're not gonna see her uh, over Christmas at all other than this weekend. So we're gonna give them their presents now. So I'm gonna wrap all of those up. So I thought you might like to see that. And I also have a really cool uh, thing that I bought for the wrapping paper. So I'll show you that as well. And I also popped into the Trafford Centre today. So I have a couple of bits from Zara to show you. Uh, and I'm heading down to London tomorrow tomorrow so yeah it's a busy busy evening so yeah i need to fake tan tonight as well <laughs> i feel like my fake tan schedule hasn't quite like added up because i wanted to be tanned for tonight because we're going out for dinner but then i also wanted to be tanned for my shoot week because i've got a whole week of shooting in london and i wanted like a fresh tan so anyway i've decided to not tan for tonight and then i'm going to tan tonight when i get back ready for like to have a fresh tan tomorrow anyway let me show you the presents that we got for Sam's sister and uh, show you my fun new little organization toy. <laughs> it's not really a toy, but you know what I mean. Okay, so in terms of wrapping paper, my wrapping paper is normally literally just everywhere in the cupboard. There's no organization to it whatsoever. So when I came across this <laughs> on Amazon, I was so buzzing. So it's like a wrapping paper storage bag. So I've got all the paper in here and I've honestly just got so much paper, like, I mean, this is quite random, baby boy, baby girl paper, Christmas paper, like birthday paper, craft paper, and then I've got like lemon kind of paper there. 
all sorts of different ones. And this is all like birthday, like bunting and stuff like that. And then in here, I have like loads of ribbons and all of that sort of thing to obviously decorate the uh, presents with. And then in here are loads of gift bags. There's one there that needs to go in as well. And then I've just got some tissue paper on the top there. And this has just honestly filled me with such excitement because I love wrapping so much. So to have this like level of organization in wrapping is really, really exciting for me. <laughs> the uh, washing machine is currently on, so sorry about that. But anyway, let me show you what we got for Sam's sister. Basically, they've recently had twins, which is so unbelievably exciting. So it was so fun buying like little twin clothes. So we've got double of everything, obviously, but I got this little, hang on, let me move this out of the way. So I got this little sleep suit from Baby Maury. I love these sleep suits, like friends that I know of who have had babies and like my sister and stuff like that. They're so good because they've got a zip, which is just so handy. So I got a blue one because we have a boy and a girl twin, which I know obviously like doing blue and pink is just, you know, not really necessary anymore. But I just thought while they're really little, it's a nice way of like, not distinguishing them because obviously their parents can tell them apart, but you know what I mean. Anyway, and then I got a pink one as well. And the pink one comes with a little headband too, which I thought was quite cute. So that's that. And then we also got them these little baby grows from the White Company. They're so cute. Love them. They just got like little animals on them. So yeah, really, really sweet. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to fold them up as nicely as the White Company do. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's the same one. And then we also got these books. So I'm gonna actually hide their names because I don't know if um, Sam's sister would want their name shown, I don't know, you know. Anyway, but they're these books and they basically say, I don't know, it's not in focus, but they basically say the story of you on the front and you can personalize them. So I got one for each of them. And basically they are kind of like memory books. So this one is like, it says things like where you came from, meet your parents. So it's all about the parents. And it's like loads of space to put like pictures and Kind of like a scrapbook but basically and like a space for their handprint and stuff like that so i just thought that was like a really really nice gift and um sam sister actually asked for them uh and then we got them two little sophie giraffe teethers as well because can't go wrong with them can you um right so we're gonna start wrapping them up now so i'm just gonna use this paper i just got it from waitrose uh, just for the kids stuff, I feel like, no offense to the kids, but they don't appreciate like real nice paper. So, <laughs> cause I have got like all nice bows and stuff like that. So these are the wrapped up prezzies. I didn't do bows on all of them because I was running really low on this stuff. So I just did the bows on these two and then left them. But as I said, they're just for the kids. So I feel like bows aren't really an essential. But yeah, I'm gonna pop them in a bag and then I'm gonna go upstairs, start packing my bag for London and I'm gonna show you what I picked up in Zara as well. So I thought I would show you what I picked up in Zara. Um, I actually have two bags. Ooh, I actually never normally am very successful in Zara in-store because I find the in-store experience just not very enjoyable because it's so messy in there. It's always really, really busy. Uh, there's always massive queues, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it was actually relatively quiet in there today and it was quite tidy and stuff. So I thought I'd actually have a proper look around and I also tried some bits on, which I don't normally do either, but 
I just couldn't face bringing it back to return. So I was like, I want to try it on, make sure it's all definitely right. So first up in this bag, we have <coughs> these boots. So these are like just below the knee boots and they're in like a, I'd call this like a mushroomy colour. So I decided to get this colour because I just have so many black boots and I just wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit. So I thought I could wear these with, you know, like my camel coats and my khaki coats and like stuff like that. So that's why I got these. I don't think these, personally, I wouldn't wear them with like black skinny jeans. I'd probably wear them more with like bare legs, you know, if you're wearing like a jumper dress or something like that. Hello. Hi, you never miss a chance to be on camera, do you? Oh, and you've brought your ball. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Oh, come here then. Give me a cuddle. Give me a cuddle. Thank you. Thanks for bringing your ball. Show the camera. Show the camera your ball. Oh, where you go? Where's daddy? Go find daddy. Good boy. Where's daddy? Go find him. And then I got this, which I feel like everyone's going to be like, what the hell is this? But basically, it's like one of those hooded kind of balaclava style things and they're actually really on trend at the minute but I didn't buy it to like wear it fashionably or wear it kind of you know in a stylish way oh god <laughs> oh my goodness I literally bought it I don't know if this is right so basically the reason that I got this I'm gonna come in a little bit closer so you can see oh my god it looks ridiculous but I think when I have like a coat on it will look better okay but basically the reason oh, the reason that I got that is because when I go on dog walks, uh, I've been wearing beanies because it's like so, so cold. I have to have something on my head. So I've been wearing beanies on my dog walks, but basically I've noticed I've had quite a lot of dry skin, like literally in like a kind of a patch here. And I think it might be to do with wearing beanies and like where they sit on my head and they just irritate my skin a little bit. So I wanted something that would keep my head warm, but wouldn't like kind of sit across my forehead. Now, enter this. <laughs> And then the other thing is, is when I wear a beanie, my neck is often really cold, but I don't like wearing scarves when I go on dog walks because I just find they just like come unraveled and yeah, they just annoy me basically. So I thought this was a really good solution and it was 15 99 from Stradivarius. So I just thought it would be really, really cozy and warm and I'd probably get quite a lot of wear out of it because I'm going to be wearing it to walk the dog. So yeah, I got that. Okay. And then next up, I picked this jumper up because... Obviously, I apparently don't have enough stripes in my wardrobe. I definitely do. But I just really, really like the fit of this one. And I don't have... I did buy another jumper like this from Zara. But I actually returned it because I just didn't like the neck on me. And I'm glad I did because I, I do definitely prefer this one. So this I actually got an extra large because it was the only one left. It was 29 And yeah, it's kind of like slightly cropped. Quite kind of wide sleeves. And then, yeah, neck is... You know just like a roll neck but it's really nice i'm probably not gonna have time to try these bits on for you unfortunately guys because i am in a real big rush to go out tonight so sorry about that but i will be like shooting them over on my instagram and stuff like that and actually i did take some pictures so if i have got pictures of each thing i'll just pop a pic either side and then next up i bought this black bodysuit this is just a really simple plain black bodysuit nothing too exciting it was 17.99 i got it in a size small long sleeve high neck uh actually uh, it's kind of got like a bit of a thong bum but not like a not a thong bum you know like a cheeky style which is obviously better than like a full kind of pants bum if that makes sense <laughs> just for the vpl so i got that as well that's just a good one for like layering you know if you're going out and about and it's cold it's a really good one but it's also good for like nights out i love wearing them with like jeans and stuff like that so yeah next up i got these flares and i actually feel like the little mermaid in these feel like Ariel. They are these amazing green sequin flares. And I just thought these would look so cool with a black oversized blazer uh, done up. And then like these just coming out at the bottom. And basically it is mine and my manager's one year anniversary of working together, which is really cute. So we're celebrating it. And I thought these could look quite cute when we go out. We're going out for dinner in London. So I thought they would be quite cute. Uh, so yeah, I picked them up. I got them a small. And then next up, I got this skirt. This was actually one that I just grabbed as I was leaving the store. So I haven't actually tried it on, but it's like a metallic -y gold skirt. But I thought this would look really nice with like a white or a black blouse tucked in. Uh, I got a size small. It was 27 99 and it's like got a bit of a curved hem, which I quite liked. 
And yeah, I just thought this was like festive without being like too glittery. And I actually feel like this would be so nice on Christmas day with a jumper to kind of dress it down a little bit and maybe some tights. So yeah, I got that. I also don't feel like that's, like it's festive, but it, you can definitely still wear it like throughout the year as well. And I'd wear that in the summer too. Uh, like I said, with like a white blouse or something. And then, oh, this is some makeup. I just picked up my old faithful, trusty Charlotte Tilbury. I've got the Airbrush Flawless Foundation and then the Hollywood Flawless Filter, my absolute fave. I've got the shade 6 Neutral in the Flawless Foundation and then 5.5 in the Flawless Filter. I've actually been wearing 5 Cool in the foundation, but it just doesn't suit my skin tone at all. And I was actually colour matched for it in store and I just feel like they just didn't really do it properly because it's just far too light for me. Um, and I'm one of those people that if like someone's like, oh, that's your shade, I'm like, yeah, that's fine, I'll just buy that. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't like to like question it, so. Anyway, I've decided that's too light for me and I, I've been using it because I've just been mixing it with another product but I didn't really want to mix it so I decided to buy my actual shade which I'm going for 6 Neutral. I don't know, I took a bit of a guess there but anyway. And then from Zara I got this jumper which oh my goodness, look how cosy it is. It's actually really cool, it's kind of like a cardigan so it's like it buttons up at the top there and then it opens there so you obviously will have to wear something underneath it but i probably just wear like a black bodysuit underneath it black jeans and then like maybe some black boots or something or i was thinking i could wear like these boots with it if i put like a little skirt underneath or something so yeah i got that in a size extra small to small it was 49.99 but it's really kind of chunky and substantial and i just thought it was a lovely piece so very very happy with that one i was meant to vlog me getting ready but then basically i was just running so late i just ended up not having time but this is my makeup look i've actually done something a little bit different with my eyes i popped on some ardell demi wispy lashes and i cut them in half and just popped them like on the corners which i thought looks quite nice um and then these earrings are zara bodysuit is a zara one i picked up today really nice and comfy and then i have my abercrombie jeans that have this like interesting waist detail and then just some zara heels so yeah that is the outfit i'm not 100% sure on it, but I don't actually really have time to overthink it. So I just need to get going. I've got Huda Beauty on my lip. I think it's in Buttercup. And yeah, I'm going to chuck a blazer over my shoulders as well, just for a little bit of warmth. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day after our night out, and I'm feeling a little bit rough. Um, and I realised I didn't finish the vlog. So I'm just coming on here to end the vlog, basically, and just say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'm going to start another vlog today. So... Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye.